Hello, I'm Dave Carger. Welcome back to TCM. Up next this afternoon is an MGM drama produced and set during the Korean War. From 1953, Richard Widmark and Carl Malden star in Take the High Ground. Widmark plays Sergeant Thorne Ryan, a hard-as-nails commander who realizes he doesn't have much time to whip a bunch of new recruits into shape so that they can survive the rigors of combat. In contrast to his style, Carl Malden co-stars as the benevolent sergeant who takes a more understanding approach, so naturally the men like him better. Take the High Ground was one of six movies that Richard Widmark and Carl Malden made together. They were first teamed up in the 1947 film noir Kiss of Death. A decade later, Malden also directed Widmark in a movie that Widmark co-produced, 1957's Time Limit, which was also about the Korean War. Take the High Ground was directed by Richard Brooks, who started as a screenwriter in Hollywood in the early 1940s. His career began to take off in 1947 when a novel he wrote during World War II, The Brick Foxhole, was adapted for the screen as Crossfire, one of the first major Hollywood films to deal with the topic of anti-Semitism. Soon after, Brooks went on to become one of the top screenwriters and directors of the 1950s and 60s, earning a total of eight Oscar nominations along the way for directing and writing films like Blackboard Jungle, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, Elmer Gantry, and In Cold Blood. Take the High Ground earned only one Academy Award nomination for its original story and screenplay by Millard Kaufman. The cast also features Elaine Stewart, Russ Tamblin, Carlton Carpenter, and Steve Forrest. From MGM in 1953, shot on location at Fort Bliss in Texas, here is Take the High Ground. 